Hello there. Thank you so much for coming in today. This is your first appointment with us, correct? Can you just confirm your name and birth date? Okay. Well, it's so nice to meet you. I'll be your doctor today. And it says on your chart, you've been having some trouble seeing far away as well as close up, correct? Yeah, well, don't worry. Um, it happens and we can definitely adjust uh, things for you, make it easier to see. Um, so I just want to run some tests um, and ask you some questions, if that's okay. All right, perfect. So when's the last time you've been to the eye doctor? Okay, so it's been a while and you're new to the area. Well, welcome. You've been here for quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, we've moved buildings a couple of times, but just like down the block, so. All right, but it seems like we'll probably have to just redo everything. Um, we want to give you a pretty comprehensive look over and testing to get your prescription back up to date. So do you wear contacts or glasses already? Did, did you bring your glasses? And how are they treating you? Okay. They, and those aren't strong enough anymore. Especially on the on the one side. Okay. And when were those uh, when were those prescribed to you? Okay. All right. Um, would you mind uh, if I took a look at your glasses? Thank you. Um, I'm just going to take a look at the prescription of these. It's going to give me a little bit of a starting point. I know that these aren't working for you, um, but it's nice to gather all the information I can. These are some nice frames, though. Took really good care of them. Okay. And in the meantime, I'm going to just examine your eyes for anything glaring. So have you been experiencing any pain? Headaches? Okay. And with the headaches, are they frequent? Okay. Do you remember when they started? Hopefully, what we do today should help with that. Okay. Any redness or swelling around your actual eye? Itching, burning. Okay. Great. How about any eye twitching? Cloudy vision? Double vision? Mm hmm. Okay. And to your knowledge, there hasn't been any trauma to your physical eyes. No bumps, cuts, anything like that. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to put my hand here so I don't accidentally bump into you. And I'm just going to take a look around your general eye area. Make sure there's nothing... Good. And the other side. Good. Now, if you would go ahead and look at my nose. Good. And continue looking at my nose. 
very concerning on the surface. So we can move on to addressing your actual prescription and updating that so you can see a bit better. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, what I would like to do is put on some trial frames. Um, this is going to determine prescription for future classes. We have the option of contacts. And I want to adjust these to your face perfectly. Um, because if they're skewed or angled or not sitting correctly, it can actually affect the prescription that we end up with. So we want this to be accurate. So I'm just going to take uh, some measurements. I have a little ruler here on the back of my horrible eye chart. And what I'm going to do is just place this ruler here. I'm just going to measure from the corner of your eye over and then down the middle. And then I want to measure the temple area. Good. And then the other side, of course. Okay. Perfect. It's equal, which is always a good sign for symmetry, if you care about that sort of thing. Okay. So these dials will adjust the sizes. I know it looks very complicated and scary, but it's just a pair of glasses. But they need to be able to be adjusted per patient. So we want this to sit about 35. And then the nose bridge we can adjust when we get that on your face. If I were to slide these on, is it sitting on your nose? All right, let me just turn. There we go. Is that a little better? adjustments from there using the chart in the back here. So did you say that you had um, an idea of which eye felt stronger when you're reading at a distance? Okay, so we'll start with the weaker one. Uh, we'll be putting an occluder on that side, on the stronger side. All right, do you have any questions? Okay. Sometimes this can be a little tedious, but um, I just prefer it because uh, we can really take our time, get the exact sort of small measurements that we need, and you'll be able to wear these and look around the room. Sometimes it's a little bit better than one of those big machines that you're used to seeing. Yeah, right. Okay. Awesome. So let's get these on. Alright, so your glasses are off and your contacts are out, so this should be your base vision. Um, we are going to be covering your other eye, and that's going to go right in here. So it's just the eye that you've been having trouble with. So go ahead and take a look at the eye chart, and can you let me know what is the smallest line you can read? Okay, no problem. You can give it. 
I guess. Okay. Alright. So the first one I want to try... I'm just gonna go up quite slowly. But this... is one or two. Which one's better? One or two? Two? Okay. And what can you see? What line? Can you read that for me? Very good. Okay. four for me? How about five? Okay. Okay. Crisper, sharper. Okay. All right. Can you read line six? Still a little bit. Better. Very good. All right. Can you read line six? How about 
seven. Very good. <laughs> you can read eight a little bit. Is that a little bit blurry? Okay, what do you say? One. This lens is what we're working with. Can you tell me, is there a difference one or two? One or two? Anything crisper, sharper, more blurry? Which one do you prefer? One? we switch the occluder. I'm going to go ahead and put this in front of this eye and we'll take a look at your other eye. Alright, now with your left eye covered and your right eye reading the chart, what's the smallest line you think you can read? Eight? Okay. Start here. Good. Now if I do this, do you prefer one or two? One or two? Okay. A small improvement, yeah. Okay, great. Backwards, starting from Good. 
great. Perfect. Now, if I do this, is it better or worse? Do the letters appear smaller, blurrier? Okay. Great. Perfect. Okay. So we can actually take these off. Alright, so I have a bit of a suspicion that is proving to be correct, um, especially with the complaints that you came in with today. Your eyes certainly do not have equal vision. Um, it's something called an isometropia. It just means that the prescription in your eyes are different in your case. They're pretty vastly different. But if one of your eyes is having a hard time seeing at distance, the other is having trouble seeing up close, yeah. That's going to be tough for you to be able to focus um, when we're using both of our eyes together. We should be using both of them to be looking at things. Um, so that would explain the headaches. Mm -hmm. so if we fix this... Um, those headaches should clear up, which is the, the plus side here. I'll be able to adjust your glasses for you, but I definitely would recommend contacts in this case. It's going to be a lot more comfortable for you, for your eyes. If you're interested in refractive surgery, corrective surgery, I can certainly refer you and give you some information on that as well. Absolutely. But what I would like to do is take a look at something really quickly. It's this little test here. And this is called the Brock String. And I just want to hold the string right under your nose. I'm going to hold it out away from you. Now what I would like you to do is focus your eye on the red ball. Good. Can you focus your eye on the yellow? And can you try to focus on the green? A bit tougher. Okay. Can you go back to the yellow? And then, can you focus on the red? Good. Okay. Okay. Interesting. And if I were to change the distance a little here, and add in the blue, I'm going to hold it a bit out side here. Can you focus on the red ball? Now the blue. Back to the red. Try the yellow. Try the green. Back to yellow. And red. Okay. Yep, this can be used um, for vision therapy once uh, once we get your prescription correct I can check and see if you're having any trouble with that um, but it's a really good exercise to help your eyes work together I just kind of wanted to see where you were at I was watching your eyes as you changed but it's supposed to look like two X's but the color ball that you're focusing on should only be one and you should be able to see two and two of the others. Yeah, it's a neat little test. Um, now for this one I would just like for you to go ahead and cover your right eye. Can you tell me what color this is? Red? Good. And 
On a scale of 0 to 100 percent, how red is this cap? 100 percent red? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cover your other eye. Is this the same intensity of red? On a scale of 1 to 100, is this 100% red as well? Okay, so there's no difference between your eyes in the intensity of the color. Good. Okay. Perfect. Next, I just want you to take a look at this grid here. And it's going to be a little bit tough because you are having trouble with your close vision. But let me know what a comfortable distance is for you. Is that good? Alright, go ahead and cover one of your eyes. And just look right at the dot in the center. Right at the dot. Now, while you're looking at that dot, the grid surrounding it, but you have to keep focused on the dot in the center. Is there anything cloudy, wavy, weird, dark? Okay. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and cover your other eye. Go ahead and look at the dot in the center. Is there anything cloudy, wavy, anything different than the other eye? Now I would like to get a little bit closer and see what we're working with in terms of your close-up vision, um, what you're able to read, and this is the eye that's having trouble. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take this little pocket screener here, and we are going to cover one of your eyes. We'll start with the one that you think is not having too much trouble. When I hold this close, what line is the smallest line you can read from? Very good. Alright, so if I were to point this out, my pen, can you read this for me? Good. And what way is the E pointing? How about this one? This one? Great. Now, is this an X or an O? X or O? X or O? Great. The line underneath. You can even give that one a little bit of a read. Well done. Okay. Can you just tell me if this is an X or O? X or O? X or O? Okay. Perfect. So, really no trouble reading close up with that eye. If we were to uncover this one and cover it here and read close up. Alright, so if I were to hold this at the same distance, can you read any of these numbers for me? Okay, can you give it a guess? Alright, what if I I did this. Is this better? Or worse? Better? Worse? Better? Okay. If I hold that there, is there a line you can read? Okay. What if I were to do this? Is this better? Yes? Okay. Now, what's the smallest line you can read? Good. 
good. Great. Awesome. That's definitely better. Okay. Good to know. So if we uncover both of your eyes here, I'm going to put this small chart in front of you again. Can you read this line here? Good. So what I'm going to do is put these flippers in front of your eye and you let me know when this line is back in focus again. These kind of X's and O's right here. Ready? There. Okay. There. Good. There. Good. There. Good. 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 Wonderful. take a peek at the eye that's giving you trouble. So, I want you to stay focused on the top of my light here, okay? I'm gonna get a little closer here. now. I think now that we have the prescription that we're going to be moving forward with, um, so we will be dilating your eyes just with some drops, and it'll take just a few minutes. I'll dim the lights and we'll be able to look. So it's just these little drops. Go ahead and tilt your head back. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and dim the lights and we'll wait just a moment here. Okay, it's been a few minutes so your eyes should be nice and dilated. I'm going to be getting a bit close to your eye. I'm going to put my hand right on your shoulder and I'm going to take a look. You can just keep looking ahead. Good. Perfect. And if you need to take a break, you just let me Everything looks great. I'm going to shine one more light in your eye. I'm sure you're excited. 
You can look over my shoulder, you do not have to look right into the light here, but I just need Perfect. So, I'm not going to turn the lights on because your vision is most likely very sensitive to light at the moment. Um, what we're going to do is get you set up with a contact appointment, and this is going to accommodate your different prescriptions in your eyes. I think the best way we can. We'll do glasses as well. But I'm anticipating that you will prefer wearing contacts during the day. Um, should help a lot with your headaches and, of course, being able to see a bit better. Um, Alright, so let me get turned up here. get you scheduled for that. And you said you did have a way home. That isn't driving yourself, correct? Good. We always double check that before dilating the eyes because it can be a little bit dangerous to drive when your eyes are so sensitive to light, but we can give you a complimentary pair of sunglasses on the way out. Um, and we can also give you some trial lenses since you wore lenses before, um, I won't have to have you sit down and do the whole how to put in lenses, which is nice, but we can give you the week's worth of contacts. You try them out this week. Let me know how they're feeling at our appointment um, the following week. Does that sound good? You're so welcome. I'm really glad that we were able to make some good adjustments today. It was so nice to meet you, and uh, looking forward to our next appointment. Alright, thank you so much for coming in. I will help you to the lobby. Okay. Hi, I'm Dr. GB. It's nice to see you. Could you confirm your name for me? Perfect. Okay. Okay, so we are doing a full comprehensive orbital exam today. It's going to be a little bit different than what you might be used to in terms of just like your routine eye exam or maybe your exam to get glasses or contacts. This is going to be more about uh, your vision, so we'll do a few vision tests that you might be familiar with. But I'm going to be pressing on your eyes around the bone structure of your body. I'm going to do a bit of a jaw check and just uh, be checking the pressure of your eyes as well. None of this should be painful in any way. Um, if it is, please don't hesitate to tell me because that is something that I will note so we can look into that. Alright, I'm going to start off with a few questions. Are you nice and comfortable? Have you had any recent trauma to your face? Okay. Are there any possibilities for any foreign bodies being present in your eye or possibly in your skull? You'd be surprised what we see here. Do you have any history of ocular problems, vision problems, anything that you think that I could or should be aware of? Okay. Are you on any medications? Anything at all? Not necessarily related to high ear vision. Okay. Okay. Do you have any past uh, diagnoses that I should be aware of, or any past surgeries that I should be aware of? Yep, okay. Okay. At the moment, are 
are you in any pain? Mm-hmm. And if you could give that a 1 out of 10. Okay. Any differences in your vision at the moment than what you normally experience? Any, uh, anything that you're concerned about or changes that you've noticed? Have you noticed any swelling? Okay. Alright, thank you so much for being patient with me and answering those questions. I'm going to start off by looking for some pupillary defects. Um, I'm just going to be shining this very bright light, apologies in advance, uh, into your eyes. I'm going to be checking out your pupils. So. I want you to stare off into the distance, okay? You don't have to look directly at the light at all. I'll be bringing it into your field of vision, but I don't want you to have to focus on the bright light, okay? So I'll be looking at not only the pupil that I'm shining the light in, but also the pupil that I'm not shining the light in. Make sure that they're reacting how they should, and making sure that they're symmetrical. Okay, very good. You can go ahead and relax. Right now, I just want you to do a few exercises for me. Let's go ahead and close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. Very good. Can you look up for me? Look down without moving your head. Look to the side and to the other side without moving your head. Okay, wonderful. You can go ahead and relax. I'm gonna go ahead and have you follow my finger. Um, just with your eyes, if you can keep your head as steady as possible. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go ahead and hold your eyelids open very gently. Is that okay? And I'm going to have you follow my finger again. Okay, very good. Sometimes it's hard to see the eye moving down when you look down because your eyelids cover it. So we have to hold up the eyelids. Okay. So all of your positions of gaze. Look good, nothing inconsistent. I'm going to go ahead and get some measurements with my exophthalmeter. Uh, that's just a fancy word for <laughs> measuring tool that I'll be using. So I just need you to position your head and your neck as naturally as possible. Now these points are going to go on either side of your eyes. Um, if it's uncomfortable, just let me know. Uh, but it shouldn't be. I'm just going to need to slide this. Okay. I'm going to make a note of the measurements. Okay. And we're going to do this again. But this time, I need you to build up some vascular pressure in your face. And to do that, um, I basically just need you to make your face red. So have uh, some pressure built up. So I want you to lean over, okay? Hold your nose with your fingers and blow, like you're blowing up a balloon or something. Okay? Now, if you can just hold this for 20, uh, maybe not even 20 seconds, I think 10 seconds is usually enough. Just hold your nose and blow. Nine, ten. Okay, very good. You can go ahead and relax. A lot of people don't like doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get a second measurement here. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and check for any uh, abnormalities or anything that we should be concerned with behind your eyes uh, just by having you close your eyes and I'm going to use my thumbs to very gently just press on your eyes I'm not going to put a lot of pressure on at all but I just want you to keep your eyes closed and relaxed okay, go ahead and close your eyes I'm going to do both at the same time which helps me determine any inconsistencies or if it's not symmetrical I don't feel anything to be concerned about okay, very good you can open your eyes or keep them closed because I'm just going to check the bony rims around your eyes mm -hmm. so I'm just going to make sure that all of this is intact. There are no fractures, swelling, or anything that we should be concerned about. So go ahead and just feeling around on the tops. And then I'm going to go down your nose here. And then under the eyes here. Okay. Okay, I don't feel any abnormalities on the nasal bridge. I don't feel any abnormal notches or anything. It seems like you have a little bit of an inconsistency on this side. So I'm just going to note that, but it's nothing to be immediately worried about. Have you ever had any trauma to your face on that side in particular? Okay. Alright, let's test your facial sensation. So I'm going to be doing V1, V2, and the V3 zones. I'm just going to use the backs of my fingers. And I want you to tell me if it feels the same on both sides and, of course, importantly, if you can feel it at all. Okay. So I'm going to lightly touch the skin on your forehead. Did that feel the same on both sides? Okay. Next, uh, over your nose bridge and then your cheeks. I'm going to lightly touch both sides. Did that feel the same on both sides? Okay. And then here along your chin and jawline, I'm going to go ahead and lightly touch both sides. Did that feel the same? Okay. All right. Next, we are going to be checking your facial strength checking for any facial nerve injuries, again, inconsistencies, weaknesses, etc. So that means we're going to do a couple more exercises. So go ahead and raise your eyebrows up, row them down. Very good. Now I'm going to ask you to tightly squeeze your eyes shut. Keep them closed. I'm going to try to open them. Keep them closed. Good. Okay. Go ahead and Sometimes when a patient has uh, a trauma or a weakness, they are unable to keep one uh, of their eyes closed. Sometimes both, but uh, usually what we see is uh, trauma on one or the other side. Okay, so let's move down to your jaw. So if you just clench your jaw, does your jaw feel aligned? for the most part. Okay. Uh, do you feel any pain when you bite down? Good. Okay. 
I'm gonna check your maxilla instability um, and that just means I'm going to be putting a gloved hand in your mouth above your teeth so up above kind of like where your gum line is and I'm going to very gently move my hand back and forth like really gently your neck shouldn't move at all but I'm going to make sure that there's no instability here that could be affecting the orbital zone okay so I'm gonna put my hand in your mouth and just very gently okay Some people are surprised when we check the mouth and the jaw during an orbital exam, but it is certainly all connected. Okay. You're doing really well. Thank you so much. Uh, are you comfortable still? Good. Okay. Next, I'm going to be putting a stethoscope on your eyelids. You ever had that done before? This is just a precaution to check for any vascular tumors. I'm going to listen for any bruise that I hear uh, potentially behind the eyelid. So I just need you to, again, close your eyes and I'm going to take a listen. And the other eye. Very good. Nothing abnormal. I don't hear anything. That's concerning. Okay. I'm going to have you do a more typical eye test. Uh, I'm going to have you hold this in front of either of your eyes. I'm going to ask you to read this chart. So go ahead and take this, hold it in front of, let's do your left eye, cover your left eye first. With your right eye, can you tell me the smallest line you can read and then read it out loud for me? Can you read this line? Can you read this line? And give it your best shot. Okay. I'm gonna have you switch eyes, so go ahead and we're gonna take that one and move it to this right eye over here. So now I want you to read with your left eye the lowest line you can read. Can you do this one for me? And can you read one lower? Go ahead and give it your best shot. Okay. Okay. You can keep that on your right eye. Still with your left eye. Slowly follow. Very good. I'm going to have you go ahead and switch from this eye to covering your left eye. And I want to do the light test again with your right eye. So we're going to start in the center. Follow the light. Very good. Follow the light. Very good. Okay, and then around slowly in a circle. Okay. 
Very good. You can go ahead and uncover your eye. I'll take that from you. Okay. I'm gonna check uh, your optic nerve by doing a few small tests. Now, this one, I'm going to be covering your eye for you. And I want you to tell me, with this eye covered, color pen is this? Good. Okay. Cover your other eye and I want you to tell me what color pen is this? Okay. Were they the same color? Were the reds different? Okay. All right. Once again, I'm going to cover your eye for you and I'm going to move this light into your eye. Okay. I'm going to cover your eye and move this light into your eye. Was one of the lights brighter or dimmer than the other or were they the same? Okay. Usually, if one of them is or appears dimmer to our patient, we can ask, because uh, it's a fairly subjective test, what percentage uh, dimmer or brighter the one side was. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do want to check your peripherals, your focus, and then we're going to just test your pressure inside your eye. I'm gonna give you some eye drops for that and then we can send you on your way. You should be good to drive or if somebody's picking you up, that's a good deal. Okay. So with this peripheral check, I want you to go ahead and stare right at my nose, okay? I'm gonna hold my hands up and I want you to tell me while looking at my nose the whole time, don't cheat. How many fingers I'm holding up, okay? All right, here we go. Good. 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 Can you do the same thing, but with one eye covered? Okay. Here we go. Good. 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 And then, of course, let's cover the other eye. Here we go. Good. 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 Perfect. Good. Okay. Sometimes I can't hold my fingers up. You know, uncover your eyes. And once again, I want you to look at my nose. I'm going to have my two fingers here. I'm going to be wiggling them out of your vision. When you can't see my fingers anymore, let me know. Again, stay focused on the center point. Here we go. Good. 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 Perfect. Okay, time to cover that eye. We're going to do the exact same thing. Now that you know what to expect, let me know when you can't see my face. Okay. There. Mm 
right there. Okay, go ahead and cover your other eyes. Let's do this one more time. Over your eye. I'm going to take this red pen again and I'm going to be bringing it closer to your face. I want you to your best ability to stay focused on this pen. Are you ready? Okay, very good. Go ahead and cover your eye. And your other eye. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to have you slightly tilt your head backwards. And we're just going to drop. for a moment. And then I'm just going to be getting a pressure reading. I'm going to very, very, very lightly touch the surface of your eye. These drops should make it so you don't feel a thing. Okay. Let's go ahead and look straight forward or wherever you're comfortable. And I'm just going to... Okay. Very good. And let me write down that reading. Now for your other eye. Okay. Let me write down that reading. Okay. Now I want you to look up, okay? We're going to do the same thing. Do you have any questions for me? You should have your results soon. And then if I need to refer you to another doctor, um, I will. And I can just give you a call or just email work better. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for coming. Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm Nurse GV. Yes. The doctor just asked me to run a couple of standard eye tests with you before she came in and did the whole exam. Is that okay? Okay, great. Are you a new patient? Yeah, okay. I didn't think I'd seen you in here before. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna take down some of your information. Okay. Yep, I'm just gonna write it down in here and we'll add it to the computer as program later. Awesome. So, can I get your first name? Mm hmm. And your last name? You sp okay. Awesome. Okay. And your date of birth?
What is your current residence? What's your address? And the town is, yeah, zip code. Perfect. Oh, and have you seen another eye doctor before? Can I have their name? Dr. Heather Feather? Oh, she's wonderful. Yes. And could I just get any uh, allergy information? Any medication you're taking? That's a strange allergy. Yeah, I've never heard of that one before. And no medication. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm just actually gonna get started with your eye exam. Uh, first. So for the first portion, I'm just going to need you to follow this pen for me. Um, you can follow the top, and I'm going to be moving it left and right, and then I'm moving it up and down. And you need to follow it with your eyes without moving your head. Okay, perfect. Ready? Now I'm just going to move it in and out, and I just want you to focus, keep your eyes focused on the tip of the pen. Ready? Good. Awesome. More time. Good. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but with a light. This, um, I'll be checking your pupils as well. But I'm just gonna move left, right, up, down, side to side. I just want you to follow the light with your eyes. Perfect, okay, ready? Now I'm just going to look right into your pupils, if you don't mind. Right here. And your other eye. Right in there. Okay. Your pupils are dilating perfectly. Sorry. Okay. And... I'm just going to write that down. Next, I'm going to test your peripheral vision, and I'm just going to do that by moving my fingers farther and farther away, and then you can tell me when they've disappeared from your point of view, and all I need you to do is look at my nose and keep your head forward. I'm going to do the moving. Good.
each finger is moving. Keep your eyes on my nose and just let me know if it's my right finger or my left finger. Okay. Right. I'm going to do the same things, but I want you to close your right eye. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to start. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay. And then move in. Do the same thing. Let me know which finger is moving, but keep your eyes on my nose. You just let me know. You got it. Okay, good. Yes. Right. Right. Left. Both. Both. Good. Okay, you can uncover both of your eyes. And I'm just going to, same thing, keep your eyes on my nose. I'm going to hold up a number on my hand with my fingers. And you let me know how many fingers I'm holding up. So now, what I want you to do is use this big wooden spoon, I know, it's ridiculous, but just cover one eye and then cover the other eye while we do an eye test. So you're just going to cover one eye and then you'll cover the other eye, but we'll start with the right eye. We'll start with your left eye. And I just want you to read the letters on this chart. I'll point that out to you. Okay, ready? E. F. B. Good. T. O. C. Very good. This line. Can you do this one? Good. How about this line? You can? Okay, let's hear it. Awesome. And the last line. Can you do it?
And then I'm gonna have you cover the other eye. Just like there. Yep. And we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. And the hard lines. Can you do it? Okay, good. B. D. Good job. And the very last line. Wonderful. Good job. I'm just going to write that down. Now, did you have any questions for the doctor before she came in? No. Okay. Do you feel like your left eye or your right eye was stronger? Your left eye? Okay. That's good to know. And I noticed you're not wearing contacts. No contacts or glasses. Okay. This just was more of a, a yearly checkup. Yeah. I totally get it. It's very good of you to come in. Some people don't even don't bother, so I'm glad you took the time to come in today for Yes, exactly. Well the doctor will be with you very shortly. Yes, it was nice to meet you too. Alright, have a good day. Hello there. Nice to meet you. I am Nurse GV. I will be performing a couple of tests for you while we wait for the doctor to come in for your eye exam. Yep, so you can sit right there, have a seat, stay comfortable. And have I seen you in here before? No, you're new. Okay, that's what I thought. I don't recognize you. And I have a pretty good eye for faces. So, if you don't mind, can I get a few bits of information from you before we begin? Fantastic. So, I'm going to write these down on my paper, and then later they'll be transferred to our computer system. So the next time you come in, we won't have to ask you the same questions. Wonderful. All right. So we'll start off with your name. First name. And your last name. How do you spell? Okay. Gotcha. 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 All right. Now it seems to be in order. You're right on time for your appointment, but we like to Make sure we have the correct people in the correct room. Exactly. And your date of birth. Month, day, and year. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Can I get your mailing address, please? And the town for that. Okay. The zip code is... Okay. Okay. Thank you. We'll be sending you bills, um, but if you prefer paperless, we can sign you up for that as well if we get your email. Okay. Your last name. Okay. At... Thank you. All right, perfect. Well, then I will sign you up for the paperless billing. All right. So, since this is your first time here, who was your previous doctor? Did you have one? You did. Okay. 
Yeah, so we get a lot of, um, most of our new patients are people who moved. Right. Okay, so don't feather, feather. Right. And how many eye exams did you get from, from your doctor? She gave you quite a few. Okay. Alright, um, do you wear contacts? Yes. But you have your glasses with you. Can I take a look at them? Um, in a moment. Let me just finish this. Okay. Um, allergies. Do you have any allergies, um, in particular to medication? Okay. And are you on any medication? Alright, so I'm going to put this aside, and I actually would love to take a look at your glasses, if you don't mind. I'm just going to off your face. Okay, they're quite dusty. Um, can I give them a little clean for you? I don't mind, um, I actually... I can't stand seeing people with dirty glasses. You can clean them right up and you'll be able to see much better. That's our job here, to make you see better, isn't it? So we give it a few sprays on each side. And use this cloth. Try not to use just any old cloth you find lying around. You want these particular ones that won't, uh, won't buff or scratch your frames or the lenses. See, that's much better already. Okay. on the lens, but um, I managed to get most of the dust and dirt off, so here you go. Put those back on your head. Fantastic. All right. So I'll actually go ahead and give you, this is the sample size of our glasses cleaner and this rag, and I'll put that aside for you. Perfect. Okay. So let's start with some tests, shall we? And the first thing we're going to do is have you follow the tip of my pen. Can you see this all right? Would you prefer it if I used this? Okay. I know it can be a bit dark in here, so use this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the pen side to side. And I want you to follow it with just your eyes, okay? So you're going to keep your, your, your head facing forward and you can start with your eyes trained on my nose. And now move your eyes to the pen. Back to my nose. Back to the pen. Your head doesn't move, but I want your eyes to follow this right here. All right? Here we go. Good. Good. Perfect. Okay. Good. Perfect. All right, a little closer. is going to be moved up and down. Same thing. Keep your eye trained on the tip of the marker. Good. Perfect. Good. Nice. 
again a little bit closer. Good. Perfect. So you seem to do very well with both eyes open, but now I'm going to ask you to cover one eye, okay? Yep, just with your hand. And we're gonna do this again. Here we go. Follow the tip of the pen with your eyes. Good. And then up, down. Okay, you can uncover this eye and cover this one. Alright, you know the drill. Fantastic. Very good. You can uncover your eye. And you want to be putting the pen very close to your nose and then back out again. Again, I want you to train your eye on the pen. Oh, as it gets closer, you're going to have to focus a bit harder. But I'm just going to take a peek at how you do. It comes in and out. One more time. In, closer to your face and out. Good. Alright, again, close this eye. We'll do that again. In, good, and out. And then the other eye, please. Thank you. In, and out. Fantastic. Alright, now we're going to do a pretty similar test, but this is going to be with a light source, alright? So I'm going to go back and forth again. Keep your head still, keep your eyes on the light. This one's going to have a bit of a wacky pattern at the end, but we're going to start with the left to right, up to down. You can use both eyes for this. Here we go. Good. Good. All right, a bit closer. Good. start moving the light fairly rapidly. I want you to go ahead and focus when you can. Good. And keep your eye on the light. Perfect. Good job. A bit closer. Okay. Now I'm going to have you cover this eye, and I'm going to bring the light in. A little bright, I know. 
one more time and out all right now let's do the other eye same thing If you don't mind, I'm going to get a bit closer and I'm going to take a look at your pupils. So just look straight ahead, don't look at the light. Very good. Very good. Very good work. I know that light can be a bit bright, so hopefully that wasn't too uncomfortable for you. Your eyes look really good so far. We are going to go through all the tests. So this next test is with my fingers. And what I'm going to do is move them out of your sight range. When you can't see them anymore, you're going to let me know. So for this one, you're not going to be following my fingers. You're going to be looking right at my nose, okay? So let's try one. Keep your eyes on my nose. Let me know when you can't see my fingers. Perfect. Very good. All right, you get it. So we're going to do that again. Good. And I'm going to get a little bit closer. Right here. Okay. Good. And a little bit farther behind. I'm going to take a step back. Good. Okay. So we're going to go up and down now. Eye on my nose, keep your eye on my nose. Good. 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 Okay. So I'm going to ask you to cover this eye. And we're going to do the same thing, but my fingers are going to be moving. Okay? Same idea. Let's get started. Good. Good. Yes, make sure to wait until both fingers are out of range. Perfect. Okay. Alright, you can uncover this eye and cover this one. Do the same thing. You're doing great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And right there. All right, go ahead and uncover that eye. I'm going to ask you to once again look straight ahead. I'm going to be putting a couple of fingers up 
and I'm gonna ask you to tell me how many fingers you see in your peripheral vision, so try not to look at them. You know, it can be hard. Okay, here we go. Good. Good. Very good. That is usually the one that people have trouble with. The easier test that we have is one that I'm going to test in your individual eye on. Let's go ahead and cover this one for now. So I'm going to move my hands, and then you let me know which finger I wiggle, either the left or the right. Okay? So keep this eye covered. And here we go. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Good. Perfect. Good. Perfect. Good. straight ahead. Both. Very good job. And I'm gonna have you cover your other eye for the same exercise. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Both. Fantastic. All right. So the last test is one that you're going to have to do with each individual eye. So you can go ahead and keep that eye covered. This is your typical eye chart. And this is a little preliminary test, but the doctor will be able to much more accurately assess what your prescription is. Okay? So let's start with the top here. E. Good job. Row two. Very good. All right, let's do row three. Four. Perfect. Row five. A little harder. Okay. Row six. Can you do row seven? It's very small. Okay. And let's hear your attempt for row eight. Don't worry if you get any of them. Incorrect. Did you make this one out? And okay, not too bad. All right. With your other eye, 
let's do the same test. We can skip down to... You can do four quite comfortably. Okay, let's start with four, shall we? Very good. Row five. Row six. Good. Row seven. And row eight. Give it your best shot. Very good. And yes, it's funny, sometimes when we do our better eye, it makes a big difference. All right. All right. So from eye to eye, it seems like you're pretty even. Do you know your prescription right now? Okay. And since this is your yearly, well, of course, have the doctor give you a full examination. Make sure you're up to date, especially if things have been looking um, blurry at all. So, Thank you so much for sitting through these tests. The doctor will be in shortly. It was nice to meet you. All right, hope to see you again soon. Hello there. I'm going to be conducting your hearing test today. You can call me GB. Yeah, it's really a relaxed test. Um, it's really not too in medical or invasive at all. It's just uh, you know, a routine test that a lot of employers um, like to get for their employees every year, especially if you're working in a loud environment. So, are you ready? I'm just gonna start with some very easy questions just to learn a little bit more about your hearing, your ear health, and your medical history. Okay. So, just confirming your name. Perfect. And your date of birth. Perfect. Okay. So, when we're looking at hearing, um, it's important that we understand your history of certain Treats. So, um, are you prone to any allergies? Okay. And is that because there's a big difference between like um, seasonal allergies such as pollen, or something like a food allergy? Mm. Okay. It's totally fine. Um, do you have a history, or anyone in your family have a history of frequent head colds, being stuffed up, or feel like you're gunked up in there, or in your sinuses? Okay. What about ear infections? Have you ever had an ear infection before? Um, how many would you say that you've had in your lifetime? Were those all when you were younger, or were they recent, or just sort of spaced evenly? Okay. Younger kids, definitely, um, we see a lot of, uh, ear infections in younger children. Yeah. Uh, but usually we can catch that, and... Uh, See if you can prevent 
them from happening more as they grow. How about impacted earwax? Have you ever had to get your ears cleaned out uh, professionally before? Okay. And I'll be taking just a little look in your ears today, hopefully cleaning them out a little bit before we do the test, just so it doesn't affect your results too much. Um, I won't get too invasive though because we don't want it to skew anything, just in case we need to prescribe something or a treatment for any um, intense impacted earwax that you might have. Okay. Have you ever had any trauma to your head uh, or especially your ears? Okay. And what is your profession? Okay. So do you have frequent exposure to loud noises? Um, something we'd consider loud noises. Anything above 85 decibels is what um, we have learned is harmful to our hearing long term. So something like a quiet library might ring in and about 30 decibels. Um, a lawnmower around 90. So that's in the high zone, um, and then you have like a loud concert um, at like 120 or so. Okay, right, so when you're exposed to something such as lawnmowers or concerts, it's always helpful to wear um, protective ear gear. Yeah, because it'll make a difference. It really will. You don't want to lose your hearing later in life. Um, it's better to prevent it now than to have to deal with, uh, you know, treatments and uh, options later. Okay, have you ever had any incidents, um, any singular incidents of very loud noises such as uh, explosions or... Okay, okay. Because um, a very loud single event, that can be... Uh, effective as well. Okay, so have you noticed any signs of hearing loss just day to day? You ever have trouble hearing people, um, understanding people in a crowd? Okay. Thank you so much for answering those. You did a great job. So the first thing I'm going to do is Take a look inside your ears and just do a little bit of a clean. So let me just... Get some gloves here. Just gonna put these on.
good. Let's throw this away. And I'm going to lightly, lightly, lightly scrape. I'm going to go ahead and take a look with my little flashlight just to make sure that everything is cleared out. like you are ready. Just going to grab my clipboard and it is time for your hearing test. So we're going to start with uh, some automated sounds and for this you're going to need to put on this pair of headphones. Should be very comfortable. Okay. Is that it? You all right? Good. Okay. So I need you to raise your hand depending on which side the sound is coming from. Do you understand? Okay. Um, let me just make a note here. And let's start the test. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. 
So the next one is just tell me when you can start hearing the sound and then put your hand down when you have stopped hearing the sound. Okay? Good. Here we go. One more time. Okay. Excellent. Okay, go ahead and take these from you. Did a great job um, recorded with your results. And now we're going to move on um, to another test. This is a very simple one. I'm going to be whispering some numbers in your ears and I just want you to repeat them back to me. Okay? Alright. We'll start side. Excellent. Okay, now we're going to do um, some words again. I'll whisper them to you. You repeat them back to me. Okay? Here we go. Starting with your left.
some city names in there. Alright, and finally just some short sentences, just a couple each ear. I'm going to whisper them into your ear and you repeat them back to me. I went to the cafe yesterday. Excellent. just like to test uh, the reflexes of your ears. I'm going to be touching them lightly. You can close your eyes and let me know when you feel it. Okay? What ear was that? Good. What ear was that? was that? Both. Very good. Alright. Your test results will be forwarded to your doctor so they can go over them with you and determine if you have anything that they want you to keep an eye on or uh, take care of. So, do you have any questions for me? Alright, then I will see you next year. Thank you so much for coming in. Alright, have a great day. Hello, hello. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. Nice to meet you. I'm going to be doing your hearing test today. It is going to be completely non-invasive, straightforward, very easy. I just want to basically test your ability to distinguish between different types of sounds and then also evaluate your level of hearing in general. So before we begin, I just want to confirm your name with you. Thank you, and nice to meet you, and your birthday. Perfect. Okay. So, is this your first time coming in? Have you experienced any sort of damage to your ear? Okay. And do you think that you experience um, any problems with your hearing, whether it's hearing loss, difficulty distinguishing sounds? Okay. And with any problem, and with any problem, is it in your left ear, in your right ear, or is it both? We're going to be testing both ears today. And I have um, four, four and a half, five tests for you. Um, you've never had surgery on your ears before. Okay. And when's the last time that you had your hearing tested or checked? Okay. Okay. I'm glad you're here then. And we can actually get started right away. First, I do just want to examine your ears just to make sure there's nothing glaringly wrong. Looks good, looks good. Okay. No noticeable damage to either ear. 
can you clean your ears? Or do you clean your ears? Do you use Q-tips? Right, so we shouldn't be putting Q-tips um, deep or into the ear canal. Q-tips are good for cleaning in crevices or around or external cleaning. But you never want to put anything inside your ear just in case um, you accidentally do damage. You don't want to do that to yourself. So I would definitely stray away from that. Even if you don't do it, just a good thing to know for the future. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is test your hearing quality. And when it comes to the texture of the sound. And when I say texture of the sound, I mean soft, medium, or hard. Some people have a hard time distinguishing what medium sounds like. I'm going to give you an example of um, all three, so you know what I'm looking for. Sometimes the semantics sort of messes people up, but don't worry. So what I'm going to do is lift something to your ear. And to you, does that sound soft, medium, or hard? sounds soft. Exactly. The other ear. Sounds soft. Great. Okay. Now the next. That is your medium. Other ear. Sort of depending on how it is interacted with, it could sound on the softer side, on the harder side. That is your medium. And then last but not least, that is the hard sound. And the other ear. that you know kind of what you're looking for. I'm going to be making a sound in one of your ears. I just want you to tell me what texture it is, whether it's soft, medium, or hard. Ready? Okay. Test number one. Medium. Very good. It's hard to start Number two. Soft. Perfect. Test number three. Soft again. Very good. Test number four. Medium, very good. Test number seven. Hard. Very good. Very good. Very good. You were able to correctly identify with both ears all three distinguishable sounds. So very good job. Next, we're going to be moving on to word repetition. When I say repetition, I mean I'm going to say a word, phrase, or number into one of your ears, and I want you to repeat it back to me. Okay. So we're going to do this first just with the, nothing covering your ears or anything at all, but then we're going to do it with ear muffs muffling the sound a bit be slightly harder, but don't worry if you get any of them wrong. I have my list here. 
We're gonna see how many we can get through. Okay, are you ready? Moving on to sentences. The cat walked down the street. Very good. Finally, just some numbers. Four, three, three, five. Very good. Yeah, this isn't supposed to be a memory test or anything, so if you do need me to repeat it, it's not a sound issue, just let me know. Headphones. Now these are actually going to be on for the remainder of the rest of the tests. So you have to make sure to let me know if they are comfortable. So we're just gonna put these over your head like so. Just the sizing there. Okay. Good. Comfortable. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, I do have my soundboard over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on a sort of um, sound blocking effect. So it's going to make everything sound muffled. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. All right, here we go. Everything should sound pretty muffled right now. Okay, good. Let's start with one word.
we're going to do number. Ready? I'm going to turn off the muffled effect. There you go, you should be able to hear just fine. The headphones do have open backs. You can hear me like normal again. Good, 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 good. Okay, you did really well. Some people really panic with that test. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the next one, you're going to be hearing some tones in the left or right or both ear. So what I'm going to do is start with your right ear and I'm going to play you a tone and then the next tone that I play I need you to tell me if it's higher or lower than the last one you heard. Mm -hmm. So when you hear it, I want you to raise your finger up if it's higher or down if it's lower. You can use your thumb too if that's more comfortable. Okay, so here's what the tone is going to sound like. Okay. Now the next tone I play, is it higher or lower? Ready? Very good. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Your left ear, your left. This is what the tone sounds like. Now the next tone, is it higher or lower? Ready? Okay. 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 Very good. Now for the next test, when you hear a tone, I want you to raise the hand of the ear that you're hearing the sound in. If it's in both ears, you can raise both hands. When you stop hearing the sound, put your hand down. Does that make sense? So for example, if I play a tone, your hand, the tone stops, you put it down. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to do a few of these. Okay. Okay. test is going to have to do when you stop hearing something. So it can be a little difficult. Don't worry, just be patient. Uh, I think a lot of people panic and think they were supposed to have stopped hearing the sound, so they miss 
represent their own hearing. So what I'm going to do is play you some sounds. Um, could be in your left ear, could be in your right ear, could be in both. But when you start hearing the sound, it's going to echo, and that echo will eventually fade out. When it's completely faded out, raise your hand and let me know. Okay? Alright, let's start with the sound if you're ready. Okay, here we go. Gone? Okay. Let's try it again. your official results for you soon, but you did very well. Um, certainly wouldn't be worried if you notice any changes in your hearing, any changes in the any distinguishing factors between sounds or noises, give me a call. Otherwise, I will follow up and let you know your official results. You can go ahead and pass that on wherever necessary. Do you need me to follow up with your general practitioner or any specialists? Okay, great. Go ahead and give my office a call anytime if you need a new appointment or if any questions come up. Yeah, I can answer those for you. Great. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these back from you. Okay, then you are free to go. Just go down that hall to the left. You'll see the checkout desk. Thank you so much for coming in. See you next time. Hello, hello, hello. You have a very, very, very lovely set of eyes. You're very welcome. So, you are here for the eye exam. Yes, good, 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 good. Okay. Let me write you down in my book. Your name? Okie dokie. And you have two eyes, and they're both functioning. Now, you are aware that this is not a conventional eye exam. Okay, very good. How did you hear about our practice? Okay, and where was that flyer located? Ah, oh, I put that one there myself. Would you say that you have trouble with your vision? Okay. And do you wear glasses? 
Do you wear contacts? Do you wear sunglasses? Do you wear a monocle? Do you wear goggles? Do you... Okay, that's enough. Got it. Okay. So there are some tests that I would like to run. Um, all of them are completely painless. I know it's in our nature to not really like things going around our eyes, but I can assure you that all of this is actually very pleasant. So I would definitely take the time to just relax and honestly enjoy. Absolutely. If you are uncomfortable at any time, just let me know. We can take a break. You can get some lemon water, uh, or we can move on to the next test. Wonderful. Okay, I'm just gonna have you sign right here just to make sure that we have you checked in. And I'm going to start with the spray. Now the spray is going to prime your eyes. Uh, it is going to make sure that all of the nerve endings uh, that you might feel discomfort or pain with are completely numb and relaxed. And this will also help me see things a little bit better in your eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and spray. You can look wherever is comfortable. And I'm just going to spray from a distance. I'm not trying to spray right in your eyeballs. It's just a nice light misting. And that should cover enough for me. Okay. Very good. I'm just going to that was a little close to me, to be honest. Not gonna feel my left eye for a while. But who feels their eyes too much anyway? Alright. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna give that a minute. I'm gonna give that a minute there. What I'm gonna do is soak up the extra moisture around your eyes. With one of these little packets. just picking up the extra moisture. Dum, 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 dum. Hmm. Definitely pick up some of the moisture there. I'll let that dry over here. Okay.
Now, first I'm going to test the energy movements in between each eye. Now, this is actually a practice where I will not be touching your eye. Okay, here we go. Just gonna drag. energy, the waves, between your eyes, and see how they connect. Very good. A bit farther away, let's see the strength here. Good. A little closer. And we just go back and forth there. Like so. Okay. Actually, that's very good. Better than I was anticipating. Close your eyes, open them. Close your eyes, open them. Close your eyes, open them. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. I would say that was very good. is what I'm going to put your sample in. So take the lid off. We've got this very, very soft, fluffy stick. I'm just going to go under your eyes. Anything.
not a health test, so you don't have to be anxious about what it's going to come back with. Uh, it's just about the quality of the energy that was released after the first test. That's going to help us with knowing a bit more um, about our studies. But you can't be wrong. Simply different classifications for different people. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the box so that will be sent out. Okay. Now, in terms of your eyes, I do want to get a good listen. Okay. So, I'm gonna use this. to listen a little bit more deeply into that eye. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to... Okay. Mm. better signal there. Thank you for holding so still. You are a lovely patient. I often don't get eyes that I can listen to very well, so when I get a good signal, I'm going to take what I can get. going to do uh, a little uh, not procedure, just uh, I guess a, a test. So I'm going to take this here and what this does is going to shoot a little puff of air at you. Yeah, it's really soft. Really gentle. So I'm just going to shoot some puffs of air to you and then swipe away the excess. So 
look wherever is comfortable. If you need to close your eyes, just close your eyes. Again, not a big deal. Uh, people tend to panic when things get close to their eyes, but no worries. a little bit more generalized. And then a more detailed. Now a more detailed. There's a little bit of residue actually left over. It's going to get out of the way of future tests. So I'm going to go ahead. And take one of these little Q-tips here. And spray it with our cleanser. residue here. Okay. Grab another for the other side here. basically resetting the quality of your eyes, I am going to uh, stir up a bit. Now, again, this is going to be totally, totally painless uh, and quite comfortable. We're just going on the absolute outer, 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 outer layer. Uh, so I'm going to take this brush here. And just lightly brush around your eyes. Ready? Everything 
samples as well. Put that in there. All right, let's do that one more time. So again, I'm just going to take this brush here. test, I need to cover your eyes. You're doing really, really well. <clears throat> I can tell you're actually getting a little sleepy, which is fine with me. So we're going to cover one eye with this on which I Hand movements and just test the reaction of that eye. You can look wherever is comfortable. If you would prefer direction, you can look at my fingers here. You can look at my nose. You can look at my finger. And my nose. Finger. Finger. Relax. Just going to Very good. I would love to do the same thing to your other eye, so I'm going to go ahead and take this gauze off and apply it to this side instead. Is that comfortable? So 
So again, look wherever is comfortable. Look at my fingers closer, farther away. Good, good, good. And now I'm going to ask you to look at my nose. Look at my finger. Nose. Very good. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and remove that cause there. Okay. I am very impressed with how well you have been able to sit through all these tests. This is probably not like your typical eye exam. So we appreciate your patience. Now, the last thing I will ask you to do is simply take a few things home with you. Uh, these glasses. is going to be uh, slightly darker so make sure that you aren't driving okay take them off for now uh, but to improve your eyesight you can actually eat carrots and this is a jumbo carrot that should actually improve your eyesight by Hundred percent. Let me check. Yep, five hundred percent. So, if you eat this carrot, uh, you should actually be fine with the sunglasses. In fact, if you want to just rub the carrot onto your eyes, that could also produce some very, very good effects. I'll let you decide though. Here's your carrot. Friend. Okay. And your glasses. We're going to take these glasses back, put them on your head after 24 hours, and that's going to give us a lot of really good research information. So how would you like to be paid for this study? Direct deposit is completely fine. Also do Cash App or Venmo, PayPal, uh, Applebee's credit card, uh, gift card, excuse me. Okay, sounds good. 
I will have reception check you out at the front desk. Do you have any questions for me? I can't answer that. Do you have any other questions? Okay. Well, I hope you have a lovely 24 hours. As soon as you leave this office, I'm going to ask that you put your glasses on and then we'll remove them once you come back tomorrow. Sound good? Okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. You are doing wonders for the world of eye research. So thank you so much. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to take a look in your eyes, okay? So go ahead and just keep your eyes on my nose, all right? Good. Good. Keep looking at my nose. Good. Okay, I'm just going to lift your eyelids slightly. A little closer. Can you look down for me? Good. Okay. Now, if you look at my nose, how many fingers am I holding up? How about now? my nose. How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? Good. You don't have any blurry vision. And how about up close? I'm going to cover one of your eyes. Can you read the smallest line you can for me? That one? Okay. You can read the letters for me, or the numbers. The numbers, yeah. Great. Other eye, same thing. Can you read that same line with the numbers? Okay, now which way is the E pointing? Either left, down, up, or right? Great. Okay, good, good, good. So then for the next part, I'm just going to be measuring your eyes. Um, so what I'm going to do is hold this just in between your pupils and make sure that things are lined up. So if you would, just look at my nose. Good. Good. He lost it for a minute there. That's okay. Um, I'm going to hold this in front of your eyes. Can you look up and then back to my nose? Look down and then back to my nose. Look to your left, then back to my nose. And then look to your right, and then back to my nose. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, next we're going to look at your pupils. So again, look straight ahead. You can look at the wall behind me. Look at my nose again. I'm just going to... I'm also checking your other eye at the same time. See if the reaction Appropriate. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So this um, eye chart is a bit far away, so we're just going to have you take this tool, okay? And when I tell you, you're going to cover each of your eyes. So you can start by covering whichever eye you'd like. I'm just going to have you read these out, okay? Good. 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 Down there. Okay. Very good. Good. Uh, let's see if you can read this line. Fantastic. Do you think we can go even farther? Okay. Good. Okay, 
One more, one more. Okay. And are you wearing um, contacts? Okay. No glasses. I'm gonna have you cover the other eye now, and we're gonna do those backwards. Okay. Go ahead and cover that other eye. Here we go. Good. 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 Perfect. Fantastic. Okay. I'll take that back from you. Thank you very much. And then in terms of reading close up, I want to get this quite close to your eyes and I want you to tell me what these letters are. Ready? Mm-hmm. You haven't had any trouble with the uh, bar side in. Okay. Good. I'm going to take a little look in each ear. Um, this will be slightly uncomfortable just for a moment here. briefly. I'm just going to have you look at my nose, okay? Keep looking at my nose. Just want to make sure you're back to reliable responsiveness. Okay. And I'm going to hold my finger right over this light. Can you follow this for me with your eyes? Good. Mm hmm Good. Move a little bit closer. Farther away. Here. And here. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So now I want to do an eye exam. So I just have a very basic eye chart. Um, I've made a custom one. It has the letters that people most frequently mistake for other letters. So I'm just going to hold it back here and if you could tell me what letter I'm pointing at. And I'd actually like for you to cover one of your eyes while you do this. And then we'll do the other one. Okay, great. Okay, cover that one. Okay. 
Now can you cover the other one? Alright, I'm gonna point at some different letters. little one down here. P. Good job. And I'd actually, um, I'd like to test you for color blindness today. I have a few colored pens. I'm just going to lift one up and you let me know what color it is, okay? Now, can you tell me the colors in order? Green, blue, and backwards. Good work. Alright, I seem to have dropped my chart. Okay, let's see. I'm going to test your visual fields. And that just means that I'm going to put two fingers mm -hmm, on either side. And I'd like for you to look me right in the middle of the face. You can look at my nose if you wish. And what I'm going to do is wiggle one finger and let me know which finger it was. Okay, here we go. Eyes on me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay. That was a little wiggle. Good job. And I'm going to do almost the same thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my fingers apart, and when they leave your peripheral vision, you just tell me when. Okay, here we go. There. Good. And I'm going to be wiggling them now, okay? Same thing. Okay. Right there. Great. And in a similar vein, I'm going to hold my hands up and you let me know how many fingers I'm holding up. This is a tough one. But make sure you keep your eyes right here. Okay, great. One, yes. Four. Once. Two. Four. Wonderful. And I'd just like to, to okay. I'm gonna find my pen light again. And I just want a closer peek in your pupils. Okay. 
I get a little bit closer. Now, if you would, could you hold your hand like this? Yeah, right in the middle. Good. Very good. And I'm just going to do a- you can take your hand down. I'm going to do a follow the light. Pretty simple. Keep your head in one spot. Just follow where the light goes with your eyeballs. Good, yes. Can you follow it close again? And once more. Okay. And I'm going to do that again, but I'm just going to do it with my finger instead of the light. Because you can follow my finger this time. I like you to cover one eye. Okay. And the other eye. Wonderful. Now I just need you to do some blinking. So, can you blink rapidly? Good. Now how about a slow blink? Blink. Blink. Now can you shut your eyes tightly? Good. And can you wink? Can you shut one each eye? It's often harder on one side than the other. Very good. What I'm going to do is put my attachment on there, and this is just going to go right in the shallow part of your ear canal. Okay? okay if one's stronger than the other. I'm going to be doing some uh, a simple sound test that will let us know. And what I'm going to do is put my fingers right by your ears. And I'm going to be moving them both, but I'm only going to be making sounds with one of them. So close your eyes and let me know which ear you hear.
very good. Now I'm going to be saying some numbers into each of your ears, and you just have to repeat them back to me, okay? Six, three, four. One, nine, seven, And do the same thing, but with words. Just tell me what word you hear. Very simple. Okay, great. Playground. Playground. Good. Towel. Towel. Schedule. Piano. Good. Piano. Ostrich. Ostrich. Varsity. Varsity. No, that was quiet. Good job. Let me start with your pupil size measurement. We're going to see if there's any difference when you come back and when you're actually on the planet. Oh, dearie me. There we go. Go ahead and keep your eyes open. Okay. I'm going to use this tiny, tiny, tiny measuring tool to get in front of your pupil We'll be touching your pupil, don't worry, you don't have to recoil backwards. I'm just getting the size. And the other one. Put this tool right by my pupil. And okay. Now this way. Keep your eyes open. Keep looking. Just at one object. Either me, the background, anything. Got it? And the other eye as well. Can't have one without the other. Unless you only have one eye, then you have one without the other. Okay. Perfect. I am going to scan your tracker now. Everything looks good. Looks like it is functioning normally. I'm going to give it a little scan. You can see the tracker is in place, but we need to make sure it's not going to be interfering with any data that it shouldn't be interfering with. Okay. What I want you to do is keep your eyes open. I'm going to try to close them. Good. Now, close your eyes. 
and keep them closed because I'm going to try to open them. Good. Can you wink? How about the other eye? Can you blink quite rapidly? And can you squeeze your eyes shut? All right, now go ahead and look up to the side, down to the other side, okay. How is your vision? Okay, all right, well then I'm going to want to just take this light here and what I'm gonna do is you can just look past my shoulder to the curtain back there. Okay. Other side, look past my shoulder. Okay. Let me see here. Because what I want to do just make sure that everything is working properly. So I'm gonna head and tilt you back and just one drop, one drop in each eye. And I want you to look at my nose, okay? Blink. Okay, look at my nose. Okay, blink. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay, look at my nose. Good, blink. Look at my nose. Blink. Okay, can you cover your Cover your right eye. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do is just ask you, without moving your head, to follow this light. Everything looks good. I just want to make a note for your checkup appointment that the right eye is a little stronger than the other. So actually, let me just on the left. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead and do a favor for me and uh, keep your right eye covered. And go ahead and tell me while looking at my nose, you're already doing a good job, which side is moving. invasive or difficult. So, have you had any blurriness? Have you had trouble reading from a distance or reading close? No, but your eyes just feel a little off. Okay, well, let me do some tests and let's see what we can find, okay? Okay, so I just want to get my light You can just look straight ahead. I'm just going to take a look at your pupils, okay? Okay.
Now, can you concentrate on the light? I'm going to bring it closer to your eyes. Okay, very good. And I'm going to be turning it on and off. want to take a peek in your eye and just see some of the reactions pretty well to the light, but I saw a couple abnormalities that I just want to rule out with some finger tests. Awesome. So, if you could focus on my nose, I'm going to do the same thing I just did with the light, bringing it in and out. Okay, great. And can you just cover one eye? And again, just focus on my nose this time. I'm going to be moving my fingers out of your peripheral vision. Just tell me when you can't see my fingers um, anymore. Okay, great. Good. Good. Could you try it with when I covered? Thank you. Good. And the other eye. Now again, cover your eye, keep your eye focused on my nose, and I'm going to be putting random numbers with my fingers up in the air. Just tell me what number. Awesome. Three. Good. One. Perfect. Two. Four, two, good job. Two, three, okay. Cover the other eye and use this one to watch. Okay, here we go. I want to do with your eyes. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna hold this sharpie up and I just want you to cover one eye. I'm 
with the other eye. Look at the sharpie, look at me, look at the sharpie, look at me. And I'll be moving the sharpie in different, okay. Ready? Cover your eye. Look at the sharpie, look at me, look at the sharpie, look at me. Look at the pen, look at me. Look at the pen. Other eye. Okay, look at the pen. Look at me. 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 Perfect. Thank you. So I'd like to just use this light to take a look in your eyes. So if you wouldn't mind removing your glasses. Thank you. And go ahead and look straight ahead, just past my shoulder. Okay. And now over the shoulder. Okay, your pupils are dilating and contracting as normal when I pull the light right in front of them. Um, if you could look up for me. And now, look to the side. Other side. And look down. I'm just going to go ahead and pull your eyelids up here. Just give it a look like that. Okay. You have very nice eyes. I quite like uh, dark eyes, I think are very striking. Yeah. Okay. Your eyes look good. Um, I assume that your glasses prescription is up to date. Good. Okay, I will make you do a vision test today. I will, however, take a look in your ears and have you had any trouble um any trouble hearing uh any build up good all right well let me just take a look that side looks good i'm just gonna look at the other side see any uh, major buildup or anything to be concerned about. If you're having trouble hearing, you can certainly uh, stop by and we can do an ear cleaning for you. Mm -hmm. We would use, I don't think I have one lying around, but we use a, a pick. Clear away the big blockage and then use water and put that uh, in the ear canal to sort of a uh, essentially power wash the inside of your ear. Some patients love it. They swear by it. Okay. So. And now I'm going to have you look at my nose. And I'm going to make sure that your pupils are contracting and dilating the way that they should be. Thank you. Now you mentioned that your ears were feeling a little bit stuffed up. Okay. Okay. I have... I'm going to attach this to my light. And this is going to go just in your ear. And I'm just going to take a little peek and see what we have. Okay. Mm-hmm. And your other ear. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, I did notice some junk in there, 
and that's easily taken care of. Um, now I don't recommend you doing this at home because it's easy to puncture your eardrum, but I'm just going to clean out just the external part of your ear. Is that okay? Okay. So I'm just gonna get in. And the other side. Is that better? Good. I'm glad. Next, we have our vision test. I'm going to be testing your peripherals as well as your eyes' reaction to light. So, <clears throat> I want you to look at my nose. I'm going to put my fingers on the side, but I want you to look right here, okay? Okay, now I'm going to move one finger, and you just tell me on what side my finger is moving. Ready? Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Good. Perfect. Good. Mm hmm Right here. Both. Perfect. Good. 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 Mm hmm Perfect. And now, it's the same thing. I want you to look here. I'm going to be moving my fingers out of your vision. Tell me when you can't see either of them anymore. Okay? Look right here. And here we go. Right there. Okay. There. Good. Good. Perfect. I'm going to be moving them. Same thing. Good. Perfect. Good. Good. Very good. All right. You can relax your eyes. I do want to do one more peripheral test. Your peripherals are quite good. So this test is a little harder, but again, no worries. Same thing, I'm moving my hands to the side. I want you to look at my nose. I'm going to put up some fingers, and I want you to tell me how many I'm holding up without looking away, okay? Here we go. Okay. 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 Good. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now I just want to test and look at how your eyes react to light. So this is going to get a bit close to you, and you can look straight ahead. You don't have to look into the light, but I am going to... Okay. Good. Okay. To the side. Mm. Mm-hmm. Very good. is the jar test. 
Now I am a little bit farther away from you, so if you need me to speak up, just let me know at any time. I have four jars here, and each jar has something different inside. I'm going to show you each one, and you'll actually be able to get a little bit of a closer look. First we have this jar here. Now, this is full of googly eyes. Next, we have second jar. And this is full of lentils. Jar number three. has a fluffy, scrunchy inside. And finally, jar number four is filled with plastic or rubber macaron. to let you get a little bit of a closer look at each jar, but I don't want you to pick any of the jars up, okay? We can move the jars sideways. And you can let me know which jar you might want to see more close up. If you would like to take the lid off, you can. Otherwise, just take a look. Okay. Any other jar? This one again. Okay. We'll take the lid off. That one? Okay. You can take a look. Okay. Are you ready for me to ask you to do a small task? Great. I would like you to let me know which of these jars is the least full and the most full and put the other two in order. So we want to go from least full to the next to the next and finally the most full. The least full would be on this side. Okay. This one next. Are you happy with this order?
Okay, great. Now, the next test is putting these jars in order from which one you think weighs the least to which one you think weighs the most. All of the jars have the exact same weight, it would just depend on the contents inside. I'll let you take a look. order, how would you give them a category from most to least? Okay. Great. Perfect. That is everything I wanted to ask you about these jars. Well done. So the last two tests are some short visual tests. Uh, very brief, but possibly my favorite to test. So this first test is going to deal with colored lights. I am going to show you this light here. This part here is going to change color. And all I need you to do is let me know when it changes color and what color it changed to. That's it. Okay, great. So, go ahead and look at the light. And what color is it to begin with for you? What color is that? Okay. And then just let me know when the color changes. And what color did it change to? Okay. Great. And the color? Okay. I'm going to start moving it slowly up and down. Ready? Okay. You can follow it. You don't have to look at it. Just let me know when it changes. there. Turn to do which color? Okay. Changed again. What color? Perfect. What color is that? Okay. Good. And if I hold it back here. Good. 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 visually follow these. I'm going to show you two strips. They have a little bit of texture on both of them, 
and they're different colors. This is strip number one, and this is strip number two. I'm going to start moving each strip slowly around your peripherals and your vision. I want you to start following one of the strips whenever you feel like it. And once you've picked uh, the strip that you would like to follow, I'd ask that you visually track that and do not switch to looking at the other strip. Try not to move your head, but just move your eyes, following whichever one you chose. Following. Good. Keep following. Just with your eyes. Don't look at the other one. Wonderful. Okay. You can stop tracking. We're going to do the exact same thing with two different strips, ones you haven't seen before. Here they are. This is strip number one. And this is strip number two. Now, I want you to follow strip number two this time. Go ahead and look at strip number two. I'm going to start moving them. Visually track strip number two with your eyes. Don't move your head if you can help it. Good. Good. Keep following it. Now I want you to follow strip number one. Look at strip number one. Don't look at two anymore. Just follow strip number one. Good. Very last thing, I'm going to show you the first two strips that you saw again. Ready? I want you to visually track the one you did not pick the first time. Ready? Let's go. Good, just follow with your eyes. with your eyes. Keep looking. Following. And done. That was great. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for relaxing with me. If you are not a YouTube Premium member, remember to turn down your volume Turn off your device now to avoid potential post-video ads. Sleep well.